I can't stress enough how much I believe this is the fundamental reason our drawings don't progress the way we would like them to. This trap that it is just so easy to fall into. Understandably easy, but still I think quite devastating in its consequences to our drawing progress and results. But it's only a trap because it's not so obvious. If it was obvious, none of us would fall into it. So let me explain what it is and why we do so easily fall into it. But we need to start with a quick recap of what the drawing process involves. Well, firstly, we need to find our subject to draw. Once we've done that and we're set up to draw, the first thing we need to do is to observe our reference carefully because it's our starting point. From that, we need to make a plan of what we're hoping our finished drawing would look like, where we're aiming, where we're going to end up. Once we have a sense of what we're trying to achieve in our drawing, we need to strategize the best way to get there, where we're going to start, how we're going to progress and so forth. After we've strategized, if you like, the big picture, we need to go to the detail and work out how will I translate the visual effect of what we see in our reference into marks and splashes on the paper to create the effect according to the plan that I've made for what I want my drawing to be doing. And then I have to do it. Now, some of this process happens in our head and some of it happens on the paper. Now, the problem is, and I think this is what sets the trap that we fall into. The problem is, is that in my understanding and experience, 85, 90, 95% of the success of a drawing happens from the things that happen in our heads. Only 15, 10, 5% of the overall, if you like, success of our drawing actually comes from the pen or the brush or whatever on the paper. Now let that sink in. It's something like 85, 90, 95% of the important things, of the things that set us up for failure or success in our drawing happen in our head, happen before our pen hits the paper. It comes from working out what we want to do and how we're going to do it. And that has to happen before we can do it. I don't think our biggest problem is the technical skill in what we do. It's not because we can't draw lines or we can't draw them adequately. It's because we haven't worked out adequately what lines we need and how we need to place them and combine them in order to get a certain effect. We haven't worked that out. So if you like, we start drawing blind. We end up starting and putting lots of lines and marks on the paper in unhelpful places and where their effect doesn't improve when we keep putting more marks and lines in unhelpful ways in unhelpful places. Because we haven't created the plan in our head first. We haven't visualized and understood and strategized and all of that. So we end up producing drawing after drawing with the same problems, with the same issues. And the real trickiness of the trap, what makes the trap so concealed, such an effective trap, is that this 85 to 95% contribution to the success of our drawing doesn't actually take 85 to 95% of our time. It may take 5 or 10 or 15% of the actual time we spend drawing. And this is what fools us. The 5 or 10 or 15% seems such a relatively short period of time in the overall drawing that we end up thinking that it's not as important as it really is, that the important part is getting the lines on the paper and that somehow if I just learn to do straighter lines or more rounded curves or something, that, that somehow that will create the drawings I want. The technical skills are a relatively minor part of how my drawing looks at the end. When I look at my drawing, if there are differences in the angle of a perspective line from the reference and my drawing, then that difference is not because I can't draw a line at the right angle. That difference is because I haven't observed the angle adequately in the first place. And then I haven't developed a drawing technique, a drawing strategy of capturing that angle as accurately as possible. In effect, I've been happy to make a rough guess at where that angle should be. I've rushed to put the line on the paper before I was adequately prepared to do it. The problem is we rush to the last point. 
we rush to put in the marks on the paper because that feels like the real process of drawing. That feels like what it's really about. We feel like that because it takes 90-95% of our time, that it's 90-95% of our drawing success when the exact opposite is true. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. Look, I hope this has been helpful because the good news is that all of these issues, all of the in the mind steps, they're all still skills. They're all still things we can work at, we can improve, we can develop, and we can get faster at doing more and more effectively. But hey, whatever you're doing, however it's working out, whatever your process is, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.